Good morning. I forgot I was going to do another uh, day where you're following our just what a normal day looks like for us. Um, this morning uh, was interesting because we we got kiddos off to school, but that wasn't why it was interesting. It's it's Monday morning, by the way. Um, we had one kiddo that was at camp all weekend long, and um, so everyone was just kind of slow going and trying to get out the door. But the difficult part came for the adults because our Keurig machine is broken. It combusted, and we're all without caffeine. So I want to hear in the comments for this video what would your day look like if you couldn't have coffee and you still had to take care of the kiddos, get them off to school, and everything else? What would your day look like? So this is what our sad little Keurig is doing. So you can hit brew, and then it sounds like it's gonna work. And yes, before you ask, we've tried vinegar and all that other stuff, but it's just going right back into the reservoir. No idea why it's doing that. So here's the update on the Keurig situation. Margie was able to find another Keurig, and hey, tell them what tell them what you did because it's it's actually something that you do a lot. I ordered it online so that I could get points from mypoints.com, and we're doing same day pickup at Walmart. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell them about my points. Why why do you use my points? Um, you can shop online, check emails, which is actually what I'm doing right now. Um, do surveys or just all different kinds of stuff that you generally do online anyways. I don't do a lot of the surveys, but just I buy everything that I can online and then I get points and I get free gift cards. So you get reward points for doing stuff like checking your email and buying stuff online. We're gonna buy a Keurig anyways and we'd probably get it from Walmart anyways. So we ordered it on Walmart. We got points through my points and we're using our credit card which we pay, use it like a debit card, we pay it off every month. And so we got credit card points, reward points, and we got my point reward points. So after a while, what are, like, you get like a ton of gift cards, won't you? Like for date nights and, or like even we have a lot of conferences coming up where we'll, we'll like use it for hotel stays and stuff like that. Well, we use our credit card points for hotels. We use our my points points for things like gas cards or if we need, I don't know, clothes, we'll get gift cards to clothing stores or... So, mypoints.com, go check that out. It's free, like it's a free service to sign up and everything. Um, and then if you want more ideas, Margie actually she already has a blog called 10 Tips for uh, Organizing a Large Household that was really popular. It has more money saving tips on it for you. And as far as the rest of our day, it is a past nine o'clock. Um, Margie's going to be getting ready. Actually, she's doing a talk at to a university class today on um, adoption and foster care with a, another professional that she'll be going to today. And we're talking about trauma, and we're talking to a law class of um, grad students at the law school that are getting ready to become lawyers who have cases about um, advocating for kids who trauma and we need advocates at school. Through all that. I've also been looking at um, a book called Alex and the Scary Things. Dalton and I read this last night for bedtime. We're going to be reviewing this book coming up and I don't have the book here still with me because I returned it to the library already but there's uh, we just put up on the website today Kit Kitten and the Topsy Turvy Feelings find out more about that book but the author is very in tune with social media and I've actually Jane Evans has been talking with us on Twitter and we have been enjoying hearing her comments and just talking with her so I just got done going to the gym for a little self-care and now I'm heading into Walmart and I'm gonna get a get, go get our new Keurig over at the site to check out place so let's go in and get a Keurig so that the adults in the house can get caffeinated because Margie's preparing for her talk over at the university and she needs some coffee in her. Mission accomplished. The Keurig has been obtained. And you know, probably the, the biggest exciting part for me was just going in there and I just got to talk with uh, 
the gal that checked me out and we just really got to connect. I told her, you know, that I was helping foster adoptive parents and she just kind of poured out to me. Um, she's not in a foster adoptive situation, but, but, but her, um, her kiddo, who's a teenager, has been through a lot of trauma and just rough things uh, that she's had to um, get him out of some situations and different things because he's been through so much trauma and now is having different behavioral problems. And it was just, this is why Transfiguring Adoption is doing what they're doing because there, there are kiddos, uh, there are parents that feel alone. She, she felt helpless, she felt alone. She didn't know what to do. Um, and it's just so great just to be able to, as another parent, tell her, I totally get how you're feeling. I, I understand how, how working with a kid that, that's been through trauma and the behaviors and you don't always know what to do and, and the situation they're in isn't the best, but you don't know where else to go or where to turn to. And you're scared to death about what adulthood's gonna look like if they're on this trajectory that they're on now. Um, and you just beat yourself up and you feel guilty. And, and it was just nice to give hope to her and say, I totally get where you're coming from. You're not alone. I'll be able to tell to her, go to the website, um, give her Margie's email address and just say, we will help you find, point you in the right direction, get you help, get you hope. Um, you're not alone. Uh, and that's why we're doing what we're doing. So gonna get the courage home um, but yeah that was a that was a good moment in there so I just got home and we got a package in the mail and I want to show you this who knew that in the middle of this they're using like used newspaper and stuff to cushion these envelopes but it's like all over our floor now which is really exciting I guess but more exciting is what was inside which is Jessica Kingsley Publishers has sent us a catalog and we're working with them to review a bunch of their books because they've got so many amazing books, you guys, for foster adoptive families. And so uh, we're going to be looking through the catalog and this is what we were writing away originally for them was Little Meerkat's Big Panic, which we just did Kit Kitten that I said earlier. And this is the new book that Jessica Evans has done. So we're going to be reviewing this, and we're really excited about, she just has amazing books that are really interactive and help you to be able to talk with your kids. So excited about to read that, excited to look through this and see some of the other books that we maybe wanna tell them that we wanna review and get out to you guys and tell you what's helpful. But um, yeah, the other thing that I'm trying to figure out is what to do with our Keurig that I just got home with. So I just walked through our living room and I don't know how life has gotten away from us, but our, our like everything is just trashed in here. And I'm not even showing the worst areas like our, our house and our office and everything's just gotten away from us. I think we had a busy weekend. We had one kiddo in camp, I told you guys, which they had an amazing time. Um, and then we were out helping. There's a single mom who is an adoptive mom and she needed help around her house. So we were helping her. So. We have not gotten all of our stuff done, so our house is kind of trashed, but here's the thing I'm wanting to know is, we have a Keurig now. Am I allowed to put that together and get caffeine inside me because it's, is that work time? Is that, is that cool? Is it considered work time or is that like personal time? All of you that work for yourselves, what, what do you think? Comment below. Is it putting the Keurig together during work time okay or do I have to wait till it's personal time? Lunchtime. It's getting down to the wire. She's getting ready. She's loading up all of her materials. She's getting ready to go edumacate some UT law students. Are you ready? I am. And you're talking to them about what book? Um, mainly about Help for Billy by Heather Forbes. Why are you, what, what's that about? Why did you choose that book? Um, it directly deals with education and trauma and how to accommodate children in the classroom. You feeling pumped for it? Yep. What do you think is going to be exciting? Um, just handing on some knowledge to some students who are ready to go kill it. Woohoo! Take on the world. And it's about, it's getting later in the afternoon, so what's that mean? Um, any second now, we're going to have a chill child come, chilled, chilled, a chilled, a chilled, chilled going to come chilled, through the door. We're going to have a chill to come through the door. I don't even know what kind of accent that is. Where are you from? Where are you from? I have no idea. <laughs> a chill to come through the door. It's called I didn't sleep last night. Here he comes. He's come home. The first child cometh home. Hey, hold on. Tell everyone how you had a. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. 
I yep. just got one page of homework today. I want that stuff to get to my dad to look at, so I'm technically good. And my dad needs to sign, my, my mom or dad needs to sign the chaperone page. Oh, fun for times. The, for the Knoxville Zoo. It should go there. It's super fun. The girls already have babies. Right, Dad? So we had to take a kiddo to an appointment. And, and I found this thing. And so we were going to play soccer and do some different things in the parking lot of the counselor's office, but it's raining, right? Yeah, and then I found this guy. So Vision. we took we took some of the kids and we went to Walmart so we can look around and have some fun <laughs> while we're waiting for the other kiddo to get out of counseling appointment. And, and I see Black Panther. And... We, um, yeah, this is just something that, because Margie's uh, off at a UT meeting, University of Tennessee meeting, and so I'm the sole parent with all the kiddos, so this beats just sitting in the waiting room and being bored. All right, so we got home from a counseling appointment, and kids helped make... Beanie Weenies! Beanie Weenies! It's the dinner of people that don't have time to make dinner. <laughs> so you just got home from University of Tennessee, and you were talking with the law department students and... I was talking with a bunch of students and their professors who are lawyers um, who have been defending um, students who have had trauma and helping advocate for them. So we were teaching them about what trauma does to the brain, how it affects kids in the classroom, and what good modifications and accommodations would be for just children at school. Um, it was really exciting and we've got some cool projects coming up that we'll be working with the UT legal department, so. And now that you're back, we are all gonna chill out with the family time. Usually we don't have electronics uh, during the week, but because of other obligations, we've missed out on our family time, which is watching... Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. So we're gonna walk, catch up with that and eat beanie weenies. Yum, 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 yum. We have the first two pair of kids to bed, and I don't know, we got nothing else for the night, do we? No. We watched Once Upon a Time. It was riveting. <laughs> riveting. It, it kind of was like one of those things where- hanger. Totally. Like, left, left it, and we're like, are you kidding us? You're ending it now? And since we're catching up, like when we watch it on ABC, like live, like they show us the preview for the next week, but we're not watching it live. We're watching it on net or not Netflix, uh, Apple TV, and they don't show you the next preview, so we have no idea what's going to happen next time. So that's sad. That's very Thanks, sad. Mm. So we're probably going to talk a little bit about what our schedules are for tomorrow, what life looks like. Maybe watch another episode of Steven Universe because we all watched a quick episode of Steven Universe after. We watched Once Upon a Time and got kids off to bed, which actually, I don't even know if we're allowed to say it. Um, no, okay. Don't say it? Okay. Don't say it. All I can say is we have... A project. We have a project in the near, not so far future that we're going to be doing with another organization that involves Steven Universe. So it's a cartoon on Cartoon Network, and we're trying to familiarize ourselves with it because... It's going to be a really neat project that hopefully we can announce sometime. Maybe, actually, we're going to be going to the U.S. Quidditch World Cup this weekend to sell t-shirts and stickers and get Harry Potter fans excited about helping foster and adoptive families. And this organization just happens to be at this event. So maybe I will ask them if we're allowed to share this project, this future project, with other people. But it'll be really neat and it'll be a great way for... Um, people to help foster and adoptive families grow, connect, and be nurtured. So, maybe another episode? I'm about ready for bed. <laughs> we hope this is helping you to nurture and grow your foster adoptive family. <laughs>